Savi Trimato works as a coal scavenger. It's a tough job for a teenager. It's also dangerous, illegal, and a health hazard. Coal also has disastrous consequences for the climate. India is already among the world's top polluters. Every morning, Savitri toils for hours in the mines of Charia in eastern India. It's the country's coal belt, where tens of thousands of people struggle to make a living. Savitri has to work in the mines to sustain her family and pay for college. Savitri Mato is 17 years old. She scavenges in the open cast coal mines of Charia in India. Her brother Shiv Kumar, known as Chotu, is just nine. Starting me to when I first began working here, everything seemed very scary to me. It was like seeing a ghost. But now the coal mines have become my friends. I'm used to everything now. The two begin at dawn every day and work for four hours. Industrial mining has temporarily stopped in this pit. Normally, machines would remove the coal. Now it has to be hacked out of exposed seams. One time it hit my foot. There was a lot of blood. I had to go to hospital. There are other challenges. The fear of getting caught is all too real. Scavenging is illegal. We worry about the police. What did they do? They chase us away. And then they take away all the coal that we cut. The police say, don't do this work, you're thieves. I'm struggling to make a living. That isn't stealing. If I rob a bank, that's stealing. You can get killed doing this work. How is it stealing? But the government and the law don't see it that way. One of you come on this side. Hold on tight, it's heavy. Chotu, cut the coal fast. You've been dragging your feet for the past hour. A basket of coal weighs at least 35 to 40 kilograms. Savitri makes four to five trips each day. Oh, Chodu. Oh no, Chodu, my sandal has come off. Savitri is determined to finish the work. Exhaustion takes over. You do it, Chodo. I can't. You finished? A few hours of work fetches the equivalent of about three euros. That's more than what people earn here as day laborers. The coal is a lifeline for the poor in the region. Some 30,000 people work as scavengers in the mines. Savitri has to first burn the raw coal she's collected to reduce it to sellable chunks. Yeah. Chotu, get the plastic. 
Walk slowly, the flame will die out. Put it down carefully. I have eye problems because of the smoke. I sometimes wear glasses at home. I know the smoke is very harmful, especially for the lungs. The burning coal causes air and water pollution. It destroys everything it comes into contact with. This helps to cook the coal faster. From here, the charcoal is sold on to local markets, households and restaurants. Chharia sits atop one of India's largest coal reserves. Dozens of blazes rage below the ground. Some have been smoldering for more than a hundred years when underground mining first began. Most fires ignite spontaneously when minerals in the exposed coal heat up. Continued open cast mining has worsened the problem. The fires caused the earth to fissure and collapse, destroying houses and causing landslides. The resulting carbon emissions have a devastating impact on the environment and the climate. Savitri's hard work doesn't pay off today. She's covered the chunks with ash to douse the fire. A customer who had promised to buy her coal doesn't show up. She worked for three days to make this pile. Savitri desperately needed the money today. No, I've lost that money. That means our monetary problems at home will worsen. So we'll really have to cut back on essentials for a couple of days. If I had managed to sell coal today, I could have bought some food rations for my family. It's a vicious cycle of poverty, one that Savitri is determined to break. She rushes home after her work in the mines to get ready for college. The income from scavenging helps pay for her books and the right to school. For her, studying is the only way out of the coal mines. Most people are illiterate. They just work and sleep. It's a very small world. I don't like it. The world is so much bigger than that. I've learned a lot through my struggles. But real learning begins with education. If you're not educated, you can't do anything. She's late for class today. The teacher isn't angry. She's used to it. Like Savitri, many girls here work in the mines. Good morning, ma'am. Morning. After class, Savitri runs into her best friend, Alicia. Savitri feels accepted by her, though they come from very different worlds. Alicia's family is well off. She doesn't need to work. She's visited Savitri in the coal mines. I'm so proud to have her as a friend. She's beautiful. She just doesn't know it. Savitri's home is close to the mines. 
Her mother, Asha Devi, used to work in the coal pits too. She lost an eye because of exposure to toxic gases. She's worried about her daughter. <laughs> Savitri is a young girl. There are bad people in the coal mines. She can get seriously injured there. We're poor people. We can't afford medical care. Her father is unwell and can't work anymore. Savitri, Chotu, and the younger sister, Durgi, enjoy some downtime. I really can't sing. In the evening, Charya's biggest fire rages like an inferno. The coal here is a blessing and a curse. It offers a chance to scrape a living, but it's fraught with deadly risks. It's terrifying. Yes. It's really spooky. Savitri and Chotu are here for the first time. Are you scared? Yeah. I'm also scared. Let's go. No, stay here. We won't get a chance to see a fire this big again. The fire poses a real risk to life. There's no question about that. It'll just swallow you up. I'm not thinking about ghosts. I can only think of God. I hope he comes and saves me. Oh. <laughs> 